Welcome back to Jim's Jeeps. One of the other things that's important to do on your vehicle, uh, probably about every six or 8,000 miles, is rotate the tires. Now, I've been very negligent in doing that. So today I'm gonna to demonstrate on the proper rotation pattern for pretty much any four-wheel drive vehicle, whether it's a Jeep or not. In this case, we're working on a 1998 TJ. There's plenty of documentation online as well, and we'll post this graphic later in the video. But there's a standard rotation pattern for four-wheel drive vehicles, including the spare. And in this case, most Jeeps have a full-size a, a full spare, and you want to make sure you get that in the rotation. This sits in the sun a lot. A lot of people have covers. Unfortunately, I don't. If, you, if you're going to, you know, the best way to care for your spare tire probably is to cover it. But in any case, make sure it's also in your tire rotation. Don't just right, rotate four tires, because then you'll end up with different tread depths if you ever wanted to use that tire into your rotation. So next, we're gonna go ahead and remove the spare. This one's going to actually go to the front right of the vehicle. And that's all there is to it. On to the next one. Now we'll take off the back right tire. That's where the front right tire that we just took off will be going. <laughs> to the next one. So that's all there is to it. We've torqued the lug nuts down to 100 foot-pounds. That's an important step. We'll see you next time on Jim's Jeeps.